What's up, everyone? This is Squigs, and welcome back to another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. Today, we're on our fourth episode, I believe, of Mario's Quest for the Water. We are on our way to the final space. What does that mean? Well, let's find out together, friends. What do we got here? Oh, we got a gauntlet. 4-1 Sprightly Sky. I'm actually super happy to see that this is not over yet. I thought we were getting close to the end. Let me turn down my volume a bit so I can hear myself think. Oh, and hear the sick jams. Well, I guess turning down my volume doesn't help that, but... <laughs> I do need to think when I play. We're going vertical on this one. Oh, a little bit vertical. Da, 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 da. Great song. Once again. Did I already say that I have no idea how... Fuck. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh my god, what a start. Well, at least the um, the hack creator, Waffle Doctor 87 is kind enough to give us a start feather. You don't see that very often. Come on, let's just zoom our way up here. I actually did not see where I'm supposed to go there, but there was, at the very least, oh, hammer brother. Yo, oh, you're my enemy. Um, there's at least a um, a springboard for me to jump off of. Okay. I need. Oh yeah, I need that other thing to have not despawn. Just <laughs> not great because I don't know how to respawn it. Actually, might be a little unintentional soft locky there, but you can always get up with that other platform. But I don't know how the vert. Hmm, the vertical spawning works. <laughs> I'm just... Okay, hold on. We gotta shake it off, shake it off. Whoa-oh. Come on, get loose. Getting loosey-goosey with it. Alright. Okay. I move my shoulders around a little bit. I think I'm ready to play. <laughs> I'm very glad that I could make that first jump. I just wish I could get up there in time, too. Like, first cycle this whole thing. I might be able to if I do it quick enough. Now, for this fuck... My enemy. Oh my god, I hate... I hate the hammer brother, he's so hard to dodge. Okay, let's scroll. Oh, we just need to bounce off this little dude. Then we can bounce up here. Okay, not too bad. Fun little vertical level. You don't see vertical levels being done too much. This is actually, kind of reminds me of the level that normally would take place here. So it's probably a remake of it. Uh, the first um, secret world level is vertical and has this background, I believe. Uh, either way, let's not die here. Jesus. Oh, good challenges so far. I would very much so like that checkpoint, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to... Okay, that's four. Hmm. I'm going back down. Going to grab the checkpoint. This is probably bad. I really want to get all five of my coins. Oh, gosh. Let's do this. Actually, let's do this. 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 That was not the most efficient way to pick up those pieces. We're gonna have to come back down here. Why is this now now not long? Like what what is going on with this? It was definitely longer before, right? Why would that change based on going up and down? It doesn't make any sense. Um yep, 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 do, 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 do. I now I don't know what that pipe is. I thought the pipe was the way forward, but now it's looking like this is the way forward. Uh, I fucked that up. I'm not gonna make this in time, I don't think. Well, we got our five coins. I really wanna know what's in that pipe, though. It looks like we have an infinite cloud, though, so I don't have to worry about rushing like I thought I did. Well, there's the end goal. We're going back for that pipe. I'm not letting that pipe escape me. The allure is too strong. <laughs> well, we beat, the, we beat the first level anyways. We're going to come back in just a moment when I get to that pipe. All right, moment of truth, folks. I was wondering if I could hit that bullet like that. Where does the pipe go? It fucking launch... <laughs> what? It launches us completely... The wrong way? Hold on. That can't be what the hack maker intended. Okay, I'm wondering if I enter the pipe this way, will it fire me this way? It will. So if I enter the pipe facing left, does it fire me left? How on earth did I get fired out to the left there? What is going on with this level? 
because that thing changed a couple times. We had the weird despawn, but I understand that. That Then the, the length of the rope is changing, and sometimes it's firing me out different directions. I don't know. We won't worry too much about the Mario science. We're just going to head on to the Minty Mountains. <laughs> Where life is so fresh and so clean. <laughs> All right, let's grab you. Oh, okay. What the fuck? I had like, uh... I was spinning, but I had like the flying cape mechanics going on there. That was another weird glitch. This has just been a glitchy day. Mario's feeling sick. <laughs> Nothing, huh? The two coins made me think there might be something in there. Um, how in the heck am I supposed to... Oh, hold on one second. Alright. Sorry about that minor interruption, folks. Hopefully, I won't die to this fuck. Oh, what? Too late. Uh, let's see if any of these work. Um, I Did I get distracted and not get that... That coin? Nah, okay. So let's try and float our way down here. Kind of tricky. What is under there? Oh, I wanted to just float off the side. Oh, you can fall... Okay. Interesting. Interesting level design. It's not a pit down there. It's just like you have to go back to the start if you fall off. God damn. I'm like not in it to win it today. I don't know what it is. My Mario skills are soft. <laughs> I'm having a normal day. You know, I've had a great morning. I'm feeling fully awake. I got a good night's sleep last night. I'm not having allergies. I'm not sick. I'm not tired. I got exciting plans. I'm going to go do some D&D &D tonight. So I'm like fired up. I'm just doing this uh, beforehand, and then I'm going to head on out, do some D&D &D with Archibald, my new character. He's not, well, he shouldn't be new anymore. I believe I brought him up first in the, my moving out video. Like, so we've been planning this since, like, May, but then it just kept falling apart. It's so hard to get, like, five people in a room. And, like... <laughs> when everyone has their own lives and shit going on. So it's kind of like, um, you make do with what you can. So eventually we're going to get this off the ground. Hopefully we'll get back to our weekly D&D soon, though, because I've been, I've been jonesing for it now that I don't have it. I got really in the habit of going every Friday is what I was usually doing, and we'd meet up, we'd play D&D from, like, 7 to, like, 1 in the morning. It's a nice little social... Even though it, it's kind of hard sometimes to dedicate all your Fridays to something, it was so much fun that I didn't mind it. Um, so I'm hoping we get back to that again soon. Jesus Christ. Okay. Awesome, though. Cool challenge. This, ha this hack really keeps me on my toes. I like that. Um, I don't understand what's under there. Okay, yeah. The little blind drops. Um... Oh, wait a second, this is... Oh, I can start over right here, probably. No? Is there... Do I have to just go the bottom path now? I like the way you did the crown here, by the way. It stops the whole people coming out of... Uh, when people come out of pipes and uh, against this backdrop, they appear in the behind it until they're... Like, as they're coming... Like, juk, 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 you won't see them behind there. And then, as soon as they're standing on top, they snap to the front. Same thing if you put item blocks in front of that, like, background. So that's a nice way to get around that. Keep getting that weird lag spike on the song. Did you notice that? Like, when the song resets, I kind of, like, lag spike. I don't know what I missed there. Pro oh, probably the last fucking coin. That's it. Yeah. We're going to do some science here. See how our toe is right there, lined up with that? We'll see how... Okay, so that is for mushrooms. Sometimes. <laughs> well, next time we get a mushroom, we're going to line our toe up. Right? Uh, one more pixel to the right. So the toe is lined up with that blue line's top pixel. Is basically what I was doing. But whatever. We got our bonus game. We got our... Come on. I'm so bad at this. I'll, I'll figure it out one day. Whatever. I'm not getting anything from this, so screw it. Give me my one-up. I don't... Just so I can get out of here. I don't want anyone to see this. <laughs> Let's just fucking not do it. Uh, we got time for another one, I think, right? The Frostfire Fjord? <laughs> um, ooh, we got blocks. Points of advice. This waters of this cavern are far too cold for swimming. So cold that skull floats can rest on them, but not on lava. 
Here, golden tiles are solid to Mario alone. They're the opposite of the no blocks, and a gold no block would not be solid at all. Okay. So it's just an empty space block? Is that what I'm saying? Hold on, I gotta sneeze, folks. Maybe I smoked... Maybe I smoked too soon about my allergies. So these are just solid to me? Is that what I'm to understand? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been sneezy today. But I don't feel like the regular allergy... Uh, Nis. What? So I want, I want to get... Yeah, that Chuck, actually, I don't think he'll come back. I want to see another person interact with these. Okay, come on. Fascinating. What is with the skips in the music? Do you guys hear that? Ah! What? Oh, okay, because I'm only... You're only a half hitbox when you jump on a ladder ducking like that. That's what happened there. So I have to get up and over this. Red coins. Yeah, this is a cool concept, I gotta say. Very interesting. I don't know how I was supposed to get that without, uh... Without taking damage? Maybe I could have shot him with fireballs through the wall there. Oh well, <laughs> that was a, a dumb place to wait for my power up. So I'll take I'll take the uh, the loss on that one. Okay, I could have killed the Chuck with that shell. I think is what I'm supposed to do. I guess we're not getting those this time because I don't have a shell. That's unfortunate. All right, Chuck, you got blocks on top of blocks on top of blocks. Insane. <laughs> Very cool design here. Oh my God. This is a great level right here. A plus, I've never actually seen anything like this. What an awesome design. That is truly new to me, unique, and just really fun. I could see a lot of potential in level building with that. Um, I can't go through, oh, I can go through the no blocks though. So I have to go down and around these. Hold on, um, I missed my ride. Um, how am I supposed to get out of here? Can I use that guy, maybe? I mean, I could shell jump off him if, if all else fails. I don't know if I'll be able to... I don't think I can make that. Maybe if I had running speed. Let's try this one more time before we work on... Oh, God. That sucks. Okay, hold on. I'm all out of swords. Well, he's gone now. God damn it. What if I scroll him off screen and bring him back? Huh? Please come back, little guy. I don't. Th I really don't think I can make that jump. I need you. Oh, I can go. Well, I can go back. So that's something. Why can't? Why would that Buzzy Beetle not respond though? I just. I think I can get out of here without going all the way back and resetting it, which I want to try to do now. But I need my Buzzy Beat. Well. I might actually be able to do that, too. It's actually not the size jump that I thought it was. There we go. The question is, is it worth it to keep going forward when you might be stuck? I'm going to try to beat this without the the awesome, <laughs> the awesome level design thing I was praising. See if it's possible. It is. Well, <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's actually interesting. Um... Soft lock prevention. I think we're going to do one more, even though it's maybe a little longer of an episode, just because it looks like there's four and four left. Um, so that way we'll be able to split them. Halfy, halfy. Underwater bubbles. Now that's a new one, too. Oh, it's weird just seeing these bubbles at all. I mean, this water at all. Like, is this bat is going to... Oh, that's... Yeah, this invisible water is weird. I like it, though. <laughs> slow falling spiny is that how spiny's always fall in water i'm learning so many new things from this hack did he just release is he releasing fish that's obscene <laughs> that is an abomination that spits in the face of god <laughs> that's interesting though so you must be doing some some sprite editing stuff here then there was I think there's more of that in the previous levels. It's been a couple days since I played the other levels, so I can't, it's hard for me to remember. But um, yeah, cause it mostly looks vanilla, but there's clearly some non-vanilla elements. I love this part of the song, by the way, listen. So good. The fuck? 
actually don't know, is this a, is this a Super Mario World, like, original? Like, from someone from SMW Central, or is this an actual game song? Almost. At least, well, I was gonna say, at least we have our shell so we can move fast, but that is no longer true. And we've made it! Okay, I think this is a good stopping point for our episode 4 of Mario's Quest for the Water. We found water, by the way, again. So, well, that's not real water, actually. And then there's weird lava water, so I guess it's Mario's Quest for normal drinking water. <laughs> uh, we're going to the hydrated hills! Actually, maybe this is where all the water is in space. Okay, I'm getting... I'm, I'm inventing a story. If I'm not understanding the actual story, I'm inventing one that's satisfactory to me. So that's fine with, the, <laughs> that's fine with me. Um, anyways, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Squiggy's Rom Hack Romp. I hope you're enjoying this hack so far. I'm having a lot of fun playing it, as I'm sure you can tell. Um, and I hope you two out there are having a lot of fun watching it. So, yeah, you just have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Do something for yourself. Treat yourself today. Do something for yourself. Grab that cupcake. Uh... Buy that $4 thing that you're like, it's, I don't really need this. I don't know why I'm giving you life advice. You, you got, probably get your life figured out way better than I do. So <laughs> don't, don't take advice from random people on the internet. That's the lesson of the day. Uh, thanks for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a wonderful afternoon.